All right, so punishing one, dark side. That's a lot of abilities. I suppose that's normal for ships, though, isn't it? Attacker, bounty hunter, scoundrel. Out of turn attacks make punishing one deadlier and faster. Steal stealth from enemies that try to, try to avoid combat. That try to avoid combat? What does that mean? Can inflict death mark on a target. Well, that's pretty powerful. The punishing one is Dengar's ship, first seen in the expanded universe. The ship has no holding cells for prisoners, meaning Dengar would bring violent ends to his bounty hunter targets for easier transport. Easier to do it when they're cremated. How do I unlock it? Starting Thursday 10th, what's the difference about a marquee sh uh, ship marquee event? They haven't done a marquee ship event in two years. So that's new. Two years since they've done a marquee ship event. You'll need to be level 60 and your own capital ship is required. Does the TIE Defender count as Imperial TIE Fighter for the unique? Yes. What? Anyway, it's a weird looking ship, I'll be honest, guys. Is this for the Executor? It is, yeah. Okay. Deal physical damage to the target enemy. Deal an additional instance of damage for each of the following. If they're breached, if they're marked or target locked, all of which bounty hunters do. So when, when you've had that contract on Executor hit as well, that means he's going to be triple tapping on basics. Disruptive combo. Pew, 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 pew. Deal physical damage to all enemies and dispel all buffs on them. Target other bounty hunter ally gets Pose you up for one turn and is called to assist. Nice. All bounty hunter ally, uh, all bounty hunter tanks taunt one turn. Light side enemies lose 50 speed for one turn, which can't be evaded or resisted. Ouch. A special 2, Wanted, Dead. A cooldown of 9. That's 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 really big. Hey, Dubit. How you doing, buddy? Hey, Night of Knee. Yeah, we're looking at Dengar's ship. Um, yeah, pretty good, Aatrox. How you doing, buddy? Deal physical damage to the target enemy and inflict the target enemy with death mark, which can't be copied, dispelled, or resisted for two turns. Inflict breach on all enemies for one turn, which can't be resisted. Punishing one recovers 100% health. Ah, oh, it's, it's an eight-turn cooldown. This ability can't be evaded and starts on cooldown. Okay. So target enemy with death mark. Can't be... Like a locked death mark for two turns. That's kind of rough. Inflict breach on all enemies for one turn. Yeah, that's kind of sick. Glad you're doing well, Aatrox. That's kind of sick, man. A, an undispellable two-turn death mark. That's irresistible. Unique. Jump Master 5000, which sounds like a meme. At the start of battle, when reinforced, the punishing one gains three speed per bounty hunter ally and six speed per light, spe light side enemy. This feels like Vader. <laughs> Whenever punishing one is called to assist by a bounty hunter ally, if that enemy had buff immunity or marked, stun them for one turn, which can't be resisted. Ouch. Whew. Whenever an enemy attacks out of turn, reduce the cooldown of wanted de Oh my god. It's gonna shred profundity, dude. Like, profundity is no longer going to uh, do very well against Executor. Uh, yeah, reduce the cooldown of wanted uh, dead by one, tripled if the e tripled if the enemy is light side. Are you fucking serious? Ah, oh, profundity is just getting absolutely wrecked by this, guys. Whenever an enemy attacks, punishing one out of turn, it recovers 10% health and protection. At the start of battle, if the punishing one is deployed and all allies are bounty hunters, excluding the capital ship, enemy Imperial TIE Fighter... Ships lose 200% crit chance. Enemy Imperial Tri Fighter ships lose 200% crit. Is this supposed to lock out people using Chimera, uh, Chimera against this? All right. 200% crit chance and evasion for the rest of the encounter. <laughs> All right. The Ally Empire capital ship. The Ally Empire capital ship gains five additional speed. Okay, so you'll be able to outpace. I wonder what, what shenanigans that's going to deal. Is that going to mess up stuff like, you know, Plo Koon, Profundity? Yeah, yeah Profundity Plo Koon will not work against this. Uh, Ally Bounty Hunter attackers gain 100% bonus protection for one turn. Ally Bounty Hunter attackers gain 100% bonus protection for one turn. <sighs> hey, Kimmy, how you doing? 
Punishing one dispels all debuffs on itself and ignores taunts on its first turn. All right. Wow. At the start of the enemy capital ship's turn, all enemies lose 100% critical damage until the end of the turn. So Negotiator, for example. Negotiator, for example, will start. You've got the mass assist, but attacks out of turn are going to heal up the punishing one. Attacks out of turn is also going to decrease the cooldowns of this wanted thing. Um, it It's also going to... The, the, oh my god. Yeah. There's going to be that 100% bonus protection. We're going to ignore taunts so we could go straight for Anakin. They're going to have 100% less crit damage. So they're not going to crit you. Well, if they crit you, they don't do anything really. Whenever an enemy gains stealth, dispel it. So it, it screws over Executor, Negotiator, and Profundity so far. Hey, Shift. Thank you so much for the uh, resub there, brother. Appreciate you, my dude. One step closer to Shelly the Shore Trooper. Whilst the Punishing One is active, breached enemies have minus 25% health and protection recovery. Enemies with Death Mark can't recover health and protection, and whenever an enemy with Death Mark is defeated, Bounty Hunter allies gain 100% defense for one turn and recover 100% pro recover 100% protection. What? This is nuts, guys. The reinforcement is Skip Tracer. Entering battle, punishing one gun's defense pen. Target enemy is inflicted with buff immunity on turn cover. No, you're not going to use this. The stealth screws over finally. Jiddy, let's be honest, dude. I, I mean, Well, I mean, I suppose. I suppose there were people using Finalizer to counter Executor. But it wasn't exactly the first choice. Uh, but, yeah. This screws, this screws a lot. It screws a lot. This screws a lot. This is really... This is kind of crazy. Um, yeah, this is kind of crazy. This is kind of crazy, not going to lie. Fondor is coming. Luthen ship. Is it? Where, was that announced? Or are you just talking shit, Cut? I mean, I'm not saying it's not. Uh, it wasn't announced. So you're just talking shit. Gotcha. Uh, maybe they've designed for mid-game power... Mid-game players to counter levy with Executor? Well, apparently it still doesn't help versus ex uh, uh, Executor teams. So... It's the only reason why they would boost the executor this hard. Why? So they can release the Fondor and have the Fondor come and counter the executor? <laughs> I don't know why they're bu buffing this so hard. Like, I don't know why they're buffing the, uh, the, the, the executor so hard. It's crazy. Levy fleet is immune to stuns. So don't, and they don't attack a lot out of turn, you believe? There's, there's quite, a, well, I mean... There's the there's the special from the Fury Class Interceptor. There's the special from um, there's the special from the um, the Interceptor as well, the Tie Interceptor. Those are both assists. Other than that, there's no real, not many assists at all in that team. But. Boom. But Executor, boom, didn't need a new capital ship this year. We'll just revitalize an old one. It just feels really weird. Feels really weird because, yeah, they're still, they're, they're keeping, they're keeping Leviathan as the big, big dog for Christmas. Obviously, Leviathan is big dog for Christmas. That's what they're doing. But they're, mo they're making, they're making the Executor the number two fleet now. It's coming out on Thursday. They're bringing back a ship marquee for the first time in two years. They haven't done a ship marquee in years, and they're bringing it back now. I don't know why. Maybe they maybe this is a test, because historically speaking, historically speaking, players don't whale on ships, or, or at least not nearly to the same degree that they'll whale on players on characters. So maybe they're going to put this out in the new marquee structure, and they're hoping they're testing the waters to see if. This is going to 
you know, this is going to change things. Will people actually start to wail on this? It's very powerful. It's basically a legendary ship as far as I'm concerned. So, Profundity will get buffed next. That would be really funny. If, if they just release a, a rebel ship that makes it destroy the punishing one. I like I don't know how what 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 on earth do you bring to the rebels to make it deal with such a hard counter? Like this feels like a straight up hard counter to profundity. You know what I mean? This feels like a straight up hard counter. Because the opening barrage, the attacks out of turn are just going to make you like get death mark immediately. You can't dispel that death mark because it's undispellable. They're attacking out of turn all the time. So it means the first opening barrage, we're going to have all that bonus protection at the start. They're all going to attack. They probably can't dispel that bonus protection. You're going to have 100% less crit damage. So you'll crit, but you won't do any real meaningful more damage. That's going to just put you immediately into death mark turn one. You can ignore taunt turn one. Well, actually, it's executor. You can ignore the taunt on the pilotless ship anyway. It's just stupid, man. It'll stop fighting. Yeah, definitely. Hey, Lucy, how are you doing? Uther comes in as a reinforcement and does double insta-kill with its ship lightsabers. How big of a change does this make against Levy Count? I don't think... Hod Hod, I don't think this counters Levi Leviathan. This feels very... Like, this feels just very specific. It feels very specific to counter Profundity, Executor, and to a degree, the Finalizer. Oh, and the Negotiator as well. Like, it's got loads of stuff to deal with. Light side in particular. Attacks out a turn in particular. Um, but doesn't really do much, I don't think, against Leviathan. We'd, I don't know if... It, they haven't said if it's a new marquee event, but it's a, it's a marquee. I'm assuming that it's going to be in the same format as we currently have.